Yo, 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 what is going on guys? It's your boy here. I'm all bringing you back another Area F2 video. This video, which I'm about to show you, has been highly requested by all of you. I've had everybody commenting on pretty much every single one of my Area F2 videos, asking me for my settings and my sensitivity options as well. So I'm going to show you everything in this video and I'm going to explain it a little bit into finer detail, if that makes sense. So the first things first guys, open up the start menu and jump into a training match, which I'm in. It gives you 45 minutes so you can play around, get used to your aim and your settings, which you are about to test. So my settings, let's jump straight to basics, okay? Okay, we just had a subscriber there. Thank you so much there. <laughs> so basically guys, basic settings is the most important part of this. So frame rate, I've got this on maximum. Frame rate and graphics is down to your preference, okay? And what device you're using. So mine's both maximum. The important parts about this is the peak options because this is that probably the most important part of the game. So peak and open scope, you're gonna want this to be on. So what this does is if you click the peak, it's going to scope in automatically for you, okay? Peak button turns camera. You want that off. You don't want it on, guys, because it can screw your aim up completely. Peak mode. This, guys, let me just rephrase this as much as I can. This option here is so important. When you download the game, it's going to be on tap option. You're going to want it on mixed. So what mixed does is when you tap the, the peak button, you zoom in, okay? But... It stays zoomed in and you have to tap it again to come out of it so if you had this option on just tap every time you tap it you're gonna have to tap to come out of it like this but if you want to peek around a corner and you're getting shot and you want to run away you can't run away with your scoping and if you missing your button like this you're gonna be like oh no 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 and you're gonna die does that make sense i hope so so basically what um, mixed peak mode does is you can tap it to peak and you can also hold it in and the moment you release the button it zooms out so tap and you can tap to come out or you can hold and release the hold and it comes out so not many people know that guys and I highly do recommend that setting so the next setting here is the run and hide peak button Turn this off guys, because you want to know where your buttons are at all times. Because this is a new game, your your muscle memory isn't going to be perfect. And you're not going to be able to, you know, remember where your buttons are at all times. So what this does is, if I've got it on on, my peak buttons here on the left hand side disappear when I run. So when I'm about to stop, I'm not going to, basically, I'm not going to know where the buttons are. I know them, because I've been playing the game quite a, quite a while now. But you kind of just want to keep this... You kind of want to just keep it off, like so. So when I'm running, the peak buttons are still on the screen. So the last option here is scope. This is exactly the same as, as the peak mode. You want this to be on mixed. It's the same thing. I can tap to scope in, like so. Or I can hold it in. And the moment I release it, it zooms out. Okay, on to the next setting then, guys. You have seen my controls. If you haven't, then go check out the video that I've posted on how I get my controller set up for the iPad. Because at the moment, this game doesn't support iPads. And the hood will be all over the shop. Sensitivity then, guys. This is my settings. You don't need to copy it. It is down to your preference. I have mine on high camera. I've got my ADS on medium. And my UAV camera on high and my cam is on medium. So I'm just going to explain briefly why I've chosen these settings. So camera angle, I've got this on high. The reason I've got this on high is, for example, if I'm running at this building here and somebody comes to spawn peek me from here, what I can do is quickly turn around just like that. If you've got a really slow sensitivity, you're going to be doing this just to look here. Does that make sense? So I can pretty much just do it in a nice movement, just like that. Nice and smooth. So the ADS, guys, 
I prefer this to be on the default setting which is medium. The reason I choose this is when you're zoomed in guys, you kind of don't want to be like flying about doing this. Because to be honest, medium settings is probably still too high, but I like to flick shot, which is if I shoot somebody, flick onto somebody else. So what I mean by that is if I'm shooting this van, I like to like flick over there as well, flick back onto the van, flick back over there, pretending that was two enemies. Okay, so I've kind of showed you how to flick a little bit there. Um, but the reason why I like to flick is this game can sometimes be very like high intensity, like very fast paced as well, especially if you're defending. So if you kill somebody, you need to flick over to another door. That's how I kind of like to have my settings. So medium is in between. It's not too high and it's not too low, but you don't want to go too high because this game is all about headshots, guys, and being very accurate. And if you, if you got it too high, you're not going to be so accurate. Like, as much as you're playing on, like, super high sensitivity, believe me, guys, just pull it down. It's the same on Rainbow Six Siege. If you ask any professional, you want to you wanna fast camera sensitivity, but you want a slow ADS. But fast enough to be able to flick. You don't want it too high. Okay, so the ADS, I've just explained to you guys. So UAV and cameras, this is just down to your preference. This is when you control your UAV drone or the monitor cameras. So that's absolutely fine. Audio settings there then, guys. Music is all the way off. SFX, though, you want this on maximum, okay? This is pretty much the, the you know, the game sound, like footsteps and whatnot. So this needs to be on... 100% at all times if the overall game volume is too loud for you if you're wearing headphones just turn down the master volume language I've got it on English notifications I've got both of these on just for my preference right guys I do recommend you all coming into the training before you even jump into ranks this is where I warm up my aim like for example I haven't played any games today and I will be pr pretty much playing games all day today so I just kind of want to warm up my aim a little bit. So what I like to do is come into training, pretty much just kind of go for it. You know, there's targets that move on this map. Just go for the headshots as much as you can. If you can't hit the headshots, don't be disappointed, guys. Because at the end of the day, you know, we're all human. We're not perfect. As you can see, I'm not perfect. But come into training, warm up your aim, guys, and enjoy yourself pretty much. That was a headshot right there, wasn't it? Don't, don't worry guys, when you come into training, you're going to miss a lot. Don't feel like you're bad, because these targets are not like real enemies. They're not going to be moving um, like enemy movements or anything like that. But yeah, just like, like I said though guys, give it a go. Change your settings, enjoy it. Enjoy the game, because this is still in beta. It's going to get better. And to be, to be quite honest with you, you guys are amazing. So thank you so much for the support. But if this video actually helped you out, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And also leave a comment in the comment section on what kind of videos do you want to see on this channel? Because I'm really enjoying making videos for you guys. And I'm, you know, as you guys can see, I'm already, you know, replying to all of your comments, which is, is, is unique to me because it's nice to see very positive comments, if that makes sense. Because there's a lot of negativity in the world these days, but you guys are just fantastic. So I appreciate that, man. No homo. <laughs> Take it easy, lads and ladies and old people and young people and everybody that's in this video right now. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.